Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part two of four for the Amuse Journey, which is also known as the Junior It's Your Story Tell It Journey. Before we dive in, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So today we are going to be taking a look at um, how we see beauty. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, if you have any picture books around your house or if you have any like nature magazines or art magazines, art books, um, or alternatively, if you have access to a computer and you are able to maybe um, look up a art museum and take a little virtual tour of their gallery, if they have um, pictures of their gallery up on their website, um, that is also something that you can do. But basically we need access to a bunch of pictures and what I'm going to be looking at today is this book called Growing Patterns. And it is a book that is all about um, math in nature, which is one of my favorite things. But it has great pictures of flowers. It has um, these great flowers. And so you want, I just want you to take a moment to look at some, uh, some pictures. It can be pictures of nature. It can be pictures of artwork. And I want you to select the one that you think is the most beautiful. So for me, my most beautiful picture in this book is actually a picture of this pine cone. Um, I love pine cones. I love um, kind of the little, almost triangular little chunks that they have. And I love that you can, they showed you in this picture, that you can kind of see little spirals, little um, kind of fanning out. On, um, on pine cones and so for me the most beautiful picture in this book is the pine cone um, now of course someone else might have a different answer for someone else there they might think that the sunflower is the most beautiful picture in this book you might think that this pineapple is the most beautiful picture in this book and that's okay right because we all have different opinions on what we think beauty is um, so maybe um, if you're doing this at home, um, if you look at the same set of pictures with your family, you can all talk about your different opinions and what you find um, to be the most beautiful picture. Um, if you are doing this with your troop, kind of over a virtual meeting, if you can all look at the same set of pictures, um, then you can have a discussion on why you think that each um, picture is beautiful. Um, but this is just to show you that we all have different perspectives and we all have different opinions of what we think is beautiful. Now the next activity that we're going to do is called Picture This. And for this, all you need is access to a mirror or um, maybe a front-facing camera is, a, is an option. And then you need any any type of art materials. So we're talking crayons, colored pencils, markers, paint, <coughs> or if you have um, like modeling clay or play-doh, um, anything that you uh, can use to create a picture. And so what we're going to do is create a self-portrait. And so um, long, long time ago before they had cameras if someone wanted a picture of themselves they would either hire someone to paint a picture of them or they would look in the mirror and then um, draw or paint or sculpt what they saw so we are going to be making our own self portraits today so i made one of myself this is what i made this is my self portrait of me 
I'm pretty proud of it and I decided that I wanted to use only the pink crayons in my crayon box. Pink is my favorite color and so I wanted to do something that was a little more representative of me. Now, if you are not feeling like doing a self-portrait, you could, you know, put together, you could draw a picture of things that you feel represent you. If you feel um, like, you know, people say like, oh, you know, if you could be any animal, what animal would you be? If you feel like, um, you know, doing a picture, drawing a picture of an animal that you feel is very similar to yourself, that's an option. Um, so you, it doesn't have to be a picture of just you. Um, there are lots of different ways to get creative with this. And then if you have time and if you have the resources, then um, a great thing to do is to look at other portraits of other people. Um, there are lots of portrait galleries all over the world and um, it's a very beautiful thing to see um, all of the different styles that the artists use to create portraits of people. Um, so that is a really fun activity and exercise to do and to look at all of the amazing portraits of people. Um, so that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you tune in next time. Um, I'll just close things out real quick with Make New Friends and Friendship Circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye Girl Scouts.